Greetings everybody, my name is Ignacio and today I'm going to be showing you guys my new games that I have purchased from the past like three months now. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because I got inspired by a couple of people on YouTube. Uh, I actually might put comments down below on, on the people who inspired me to do this kind of video. But I thought I'd show you guys what games I've gotten and maybe I can ex express more people out there, show you guys what games you guys never heard of and etc. You, you guys understand what a game pickup is pretty much. Uh, I say the reason why I'm going to do this like every like three months or so is because I don't really collect a lot of video games and it's only because I'm just super busy and I'm not as a big hardcore gamer as I used to be. I mean I still play video games every now and then but only if a game out there really does inspire me. Um, I thought this would be a good video. Um, we're going to get right straight into it because I hope I'm not trying to push this video up to 15 minutes. So we're going to get started. Um, the games I'm going to be showing for you guys, I am more of a Sony fan with, with video games. So what you're going to see mostly is just Sony games. And we're going to start off with the PS2. And we're going to start with um, DOA 2 Hardcore for the PS2. Um, this is a fighting game. Um, one of the things that you get to know about me is that I'm really not into fighting games. Uh, surprisingly enough and to believe it or not this is the game that that first introduced me into fighting games I had this game since I was a kid I'm um, not this exact same copy um, why would I put this in the video yeah so I lost a lot of my ps2 games back when I was a kid and so this is one of the mini games that's coming back into my collection again um, this was the first fighting game that I've ever played and if you guys never heard of the series I'm um, dead or alive it's a pretty uh, popular somewhat in the series um, of fighting games um, anime pretty much characters uh, the only thing I don't like about this uh, case is just that there's a sticker right here I was very disappointed um, but I think I only got this for five dollars and it was a lot cheaper than what I saw on the internet so at least on eBay at least so I bought this game and seriously this is like one of my favorite fighting games um, like I said I'm not a huge fighting person but if I ever want to do this is one of those games out there I do I do have a PS4 version um, that are alive last round and the game's all right but so in some way um, I am a little bit of a fan of the series myself um, the game is pretty good um, one of the funniest things I have to say is that I am one of the many people out there who really likes the dub for this um, game I, you know, because I grew up, you know, listening to English all the time, so whenever I hear the voice acting in this game, I absolutely love it. I know people out there would think it would be super cheesy, but I really, really love the voice acting in this game. Um, the game's very kind of simple to get into, uh, can be confusing at, at how to fight, but, but then again, you're talking to somebody who doesn't really play a lot of fighting games, so that said, the game's pretty good, um, not the greatest game of all time. So my next game on my list is a pretty common game for PS2 collectors is Lord of the Rings uh, Return of the King. This is another childhood game that I bought a while back. This was like, I think this my oldest game in my collection for, for, the, for my three months video. Um, obviously, if you ever play this game, it's really, really good. It's, it's a hit for a reason. Uh, this is exact the same copy. Um, no greatest hits edition or anything like that. Uh, I played. I, I love this game. The combat system in this game is great. Um, I love the hack and slash, and you know the new Lord of the Rings that's coming out. Um, Shadow of War the game looks badass. I can't wait for that game. And yeah, I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan, so this was a game I was definitely going to pick up. One of my favorite things to do in this game, I like to do, is I always like to play as Frodo, and I would always like you know something that you would never see in the movie, but you know like how Frodo is like the weakest like weakling in the sh in the in the movie but I one of the things I always do I always go to the most epic battles in one of the missions and I always make Frodo freaking fight all these guys <laughs> some something that you would never see Frodo would do but this is like one of my favorite games I can pick this game up even now and have a blast that's that's how much fun I play it play this game um, the next game is my one of my more recent games I bought this game literally like I think four days ago and that is Call of Duty last hour and I know I know somebody's gonna be like Call of Duty really yes uh okay let's first explain this is the uh call of duty finest hour and according to the internet this is the very first call of duty game to be released on consoles uh, the game first in the series came out as pc if anybody's wondering but yes um one of the things that you get to know about me is that i love first person shooter games 
I am a huge, I love first person shooting games a lot. And yes, Call of Duty is one of my kind of favorite series in the fight, fight my one of my favorite series. And I know there's a lot of debate on if Call why how Call of Duty is now, but um, long story short, um, I prefer the little bit more older Call of Duty games. And I haven't gotten too far in this game. As a matter of fact, I'm going to play this game after this video is made because I'm craving to play this game right now. But one of my favorite things about the older Call of Duty games is that majority of them are objective based. And meaning like, so like there will be like a mission where like you have to protect somebody throughout the entire mission or you have to go to this objective and destroy it and do something else. And that's one of the things I liked about the older Call of Duty games, um, especially the very first one, Call of Duty Classic, at least that's what it's called on PS3. But this game is no, um, uh, no, uh, I, I forgot the word, but it's the same thing as Call of Duty Classic. Um, so playing this game is really cool. Um, there are some bit of weird things of control wise that I'm just not used to. Like, like you have to press circle or crouch, but then you have to press triangle to go back, like stand up again. I don't know. It's really weird, but this game is really fun so far. I'm having a blast right now. So if you want to play a decent sh first person shooting game, I recommend this. So that is all my PlayStation 2 games. So now we're gonna go into, let's do my PlayStation Vita games. Um, I just wanna say thanks to everybody who, um, I know that I got quite a bit of subscribers on my PlayStation Vita, Vita, Vita video. And so this is a shout out to all the people out there who has sticked around for this channel. Um, unfortunately, I only got two Vita games. Um, there, I'm, I am supposed to get another Vita game um, that I bought from Limited Game Runs, which I'll talk about that in a moment. But the first uh, game I bought for the Vita is Soul Sacrifice. Unfortunately, I haven't played much of this game. <laughs> I I played the game when, first, when I first got it, but I'm sorry to say, guys, but I'm not really into it. I mean, first impressions are not really good. I am so confused by the game. The story is, I don't understand it. Um, the fighting, I, I think it's cool to fight giant monsters. I think that's really cool. But besides that though, I just don't, I'm not really into this game. I have, give me a moment. Just give me time to get into this game. But for the time being, I'm not really into it. I only bought this game because it was $20 and I thought the game, I thought the game would be easy to get into. Unfortunately, not for this guy. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated if I ever did complete this game. I haven't touched this game in like a month now. Like that's how much I just don't even care anymore about this game. But that being said, uh, yeah. Um, my next game collection I have is an, obviously another Vita game. And this is my only Vita game I own. And that is called Fighting Climax for the Vita. This is a, another fighting game. And trust me when I say this, um, Dead or Alive and this game is the only fighting game in my entire collection. Seriously, that's how much I just don't care about fighting games. So why I bought this game. So there was somebody on YouTube in my Vita video on why did I buy a Vita? Why did I buy a Vita? I can't talk today. Somebody in the comment section um, um, said that he did a video as well on the Vita collection. So I decided to go, I was a bit curious, went on the video, clucked on it, checked out the games he had. He had two to three games I was interested in and this was one of them. Um, the reason why I was intrigued by this game is because of the art style right here. I really like the art for some odd reason. Just something about it that just gets to me. And long story short, I did went on eBay to see if people were trying to sell this game. And unfortunately, people were trying to sell this game for like 50 to $60. And I wasn't going to pay much that much money for a, a game knowing that I don't, I don't even know if I was going to like. And like I said, I don't like fighting games that much. So... This was just eh, not really worth it. Um, however, um, a week later, not even kidding, a week later, I was hanging out with my mother. Um, we were surprisingly close to a GameStop and something in the back of my head told me that I should go into that GameStop and see what games they had. And guess what? I followed my instincts and I found this game and the really small Vita collection that they had. And this game was just hiding in there and this game was $20 when I bought it. I was so happy. And guess what? The CD almost fell out. <laughs> I got my soundtrack for it. I was so happy. The way how the guy presented it to me, I was like, I'm gonna buy this game. Put it on the desk, 
and he tried to look for the game that that came with it and he was like congratulations you get the soundtrack too as a bonus and i was like what <laughs> in my at least in my head i didn't say that loud but but yeah though um to be quite honest with you guys um what how good is the game um it's a 2d fighting game and it's really fun i really uh you know i'll be honest with you i think i enjoy this game a lot more than my dead or alive game of on the ps2 even though i grew up playing that game and i love that game but i think i like this one a bit more um basically it's a fighting game with um famous um anime characters from tv shows um i only know two people in particular um i don't only two people really and and uh other thing too i like about it is that it comes with a not a manual but it comes with a moveset for all the characters um this is actually one of the characters i know because she's from valkyria and i am a huge valkyria person fan of the series uh, i think they made her boobs way too big i can't be the only one who thinks that <laughs> okay um so yeah so what a great deal for 20 dollars for these two so i'm happy to have that in my collection so that is all my Vita games. Um, like I said, um, there is another Vita game coming in the mail, unfortunately, um, because I really wanted to make this video. Um, plus, I don't think that game is going to be coming for like another week or two. Um, it's a limited game run game. Um, it's called um, Yee's Origins. Anybody who grew up in like the in the '90s would know that series. Um, yeah, so they got a physical copy for Yee's Origins for the Vita, and I bought it. So at least you guys get to know that much. So now let's get into my PS four games and we're gonna start with the obvious one that I think a lot of ps4 owners now own and that is Crash Bandicoot I am a huge Crash Bandicoot fan I grew up playing Crash Bandicoot on the Game Boy Advance um, I'm only 20 years old so I never really get to play the original on the play P PS1 I did play the third one warped a long time ago thought it was a game was pretty good and yeah i've been a huge crash fan for a long time i mean enough is said about crash bandicoot i i know there's so many videos about this game um the only thing i can really say about crash bandicoot for this is that i platinum all three games in the series i platinum the first one second third one um even though the first one was a pain in the ass to do but i managed through it and 100 percent this entire game really fun um, next game on my list and surprisingly the most disappointing game on my list and that is Valkyria Revolution like I said before I'm a huge Valkyria fan um, at least Valkyria Chronicles the one on, on my shelf over there um, I, I enjoy that game so much I was ex kind of excited for this game um, this game got a lot of hate and oh yeah I also have the collector's edition I had to have that um, I don't know what to say about this game um, I never really played JRPG games, so this one was like one of the, I think this is my fifth art JRPG game that I ever played, and this is probably my least favorite one just because it's kind of weird. I can't really explain it. It's like you're able to run around. It's like a fighting game, but it's also RPG elements. Like there's actually elements in this game that I really liked, but this game is so boring. Like. And it's kind of disappointing because, like I said, this is like the most disappointing game in my collection that I own. I don't know really to really what to say about it. Like, it's not really that fun to me. But at the same time, though, there's I have to come back to this game at some point. I really should because I did pay forty dollars for this thing. Um, if there's anything good about this game, I can honestly say it's the soundtrack. Um, the soundtrack is pretty decent. I do have on my phone. I do listen to it every once in a while. Um. So that's all I can really say. Um, I'll definitely keep you guys updated about this game if I ever do beat it. So my second to last um, PS4 game that I own is a game that I think everybody should look out for, and that is Too Dark. Um, this is, um, anybody that does not know me, I am a huge horror fan. I like horror games a lot. Um, and this was something I was happy to own, um, Too Dark is about this detective right here who goes out and saves children um, and uh, the way how the game is structured is like it goes by level design so each level you go in try to save some kids and um, the story is is about this detective goes on vacation with his with his family um, wife and his two kids um, long story short um, wife gets killed in the 
when they were going on camping and kids get and his kids get kidnapped. Um, it's a very emotional scene. The way how they set it up is crazy, and and it's just him looking for his kids and saving other kids. And this game is oh my god, it's so dark. And I'm being dead serious when I say that. And this is a game I re I believe one day that this game will be collectible, which is why I jump on the bang bandwagon. Also, he has a steel case too. Um, any collector out there, I recommend you get the lim this this uh, edition as soon as you can because it's really cheap right now online. It's um, like about thirty dollars on Amazon. And just to say, one of the reasons why I think this game will be rare is because it's by Peggy eighteen, meaning this game has never been released in the U.S. And no, I don't think this game is gonna get any close to being released in the U.S. anytime soon, if not never. So I'm gonna leave it like that. It's a really fun game. I I'm enjoying it so much. So that leads us to my final game in my collection, and that is, this is my latest new game I bought, and I'm playing it even now. Uh, Resident Evil Revelations. This game literally just came out like two days ago by the time this video is made. Um, having a blast playing this game. Um, this game's pretty good. Uh, there are things I don't like about it, like I think the action scenes are a little weird. Voice acting is pretty good, but it's just that some of the ways um some of the ways how like the dialogue is set up is just like awkward hard to explain but there's some definitely some weird voice acting in this game um but yeah besides that though this game is really good um i also hate how they like each like chapter when you complete it goes like last time on resident evil revelations it is so dumb um yeah i'm trying to hurry up and make this video but but that's my collection for my PS4 and PS2 and Vita games. So um, this is something I will do every once in a while. Um, not all the time, as much as I want to. Um, in my next game collection video, um, I will show off my YS Origin game at, so I can show you guys that I have it. But besides that, though, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I would like to know if you guys have any new games or suggestions that I should play. Um, but this is my game collection for now. I hope you guys enjoy it. Get you guys next time.